Please be seated. Mr. Grant, staff, and students. The students of, and staff of Asquith Boys High School acknowledge the Gurungai people to the east and the Darug people to the west as the traditional owners of this land. We pay our respects to elders both past and present. Good afternoon and welcome to today's formal assembly. Uh, 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 and a especially warm welcome to the parents, friends, and family who are watching this stream assembly. This, this afternoon's assembly recognizes some of the wonderful opportunities that are, that are available to us as Asquith Boys students. Mr. Jones will report on the successes of Asquith Boys in the fields of swimming, athletics, and cross country. And we will see and hear about the stage band's amazing big band blast tour to Port Macquarie. I'd now like to invite our principal, Mr. Grant, to address the assembly. Thank you, and good afternoon. I too would like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today and pay my respects to elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islands peoples if they are here today. Good afternoon. It's a little bit unusual to say afternoon. We're used to mornings, even though it's been a long time since we had an assembly together. Today we, we look at our school carnivals and school tours assemblies and we acknowledge the performances in both those areas for our Asquith Boys High School. But firstly, I'd like to begin with how proud I am of not only the individuals that we'll be acknowledging and celebrating today on stage, but to all the students who have been working so tirelessly, consistently, and hard throughout the years so far. Your resilience, despite the surrounding climate of COVID, uh, COVID sorry, the flu, and the need to have, on occasions, lessons conducted here in the hall or in the library, has been incredible and a true reflection of your resilience and determined approach to ensure that you get the best out of your schooling. After reading all your semester one reports, I was very impressed and highly excited by the level of effort and enthusiasm that you all showed for learning across all of your subjects in semester one. Last term, we also implemented our new mobile phone policy and its success has largely been um, due to the overwhelming desire by all of you to behave appropriately and comply with those requests and warnings of turning your phones off and putting them away. As always, our sporting participation numbers continue to grow, be that in grade sport or in carnivals. And while they'll be acknowledged today in today's assembly, we have some most notable or really notable sporting performances from the first semester. In swimming, Jensen Goodchild, was our Sydney North Age champion, and he finished third at CHS in the 200 metres freestyle. In athletics, Asquith Boys High School finished second in the zone championships, with eight students qualifying for next week's regional carnival. Saya Anasio and Ethan Oliver were both named zone champions. In cross country, we also finished second as a school at the zone championships, with Rory McFarlane, Kobe Jenkins, and Alex Brandel, all qualifying for CHS. In our recent zone winter competition, the semi-finals that were played on Wednesday, we had 11 teams qualify for the semis, and of those 11, we've had eight go through to next Wednesday's grand finals. An outstanding effort, gentlemen. Our knockouts competitions, our open soccer was recently defeated, but lost to Narrabeen Sports High, so a sports high school was the one that stood in our path. And baseball, we're still in the competition and we're through to the, the, uh, sorry, the quarterfinals. So again, we continue to excel on the sporting field. As a student at Asquith Boys High School, it's important that you take opportunities to reflect on your wonderful um, extracurricular opportunities that you have that and that do exist for you at this school. Be that in the classroom or on the sporting field or with tours or any other extracurricular option that presents for you as a student, take it learn from it, grow from it, and be the best that you can be. Our recent Big Band Blast, sorry, Big Band Blast tourists were extremely well received on all their contact scops on the way up to Port Macquarie, performing to excited audiences and finishing their shows to a thunderous applause from highly impressed crowds. Again, gentlemen, it's important to remember that effort and reward go together, be that in sport, or on the stage or in the classroom, in undertaking classroom, oh, sorry, leadership roles or preparing for exams, 
completing assessment tasks or sitting with your parents and reflecting on your school report or even wearing your correct uniform on a daily basis. Being the best that you can be each and every day is all that we wish and expect and require and hope for you. These things may not always be rewarded with a certificate or a prize, but I can assure you that they do not go unnoticed. Effort that you put in to any area, if not all areas, will always have a positive impact on you in so many, many ways, but especially and most importantly, currently in the classroom. I appreciate and thank each one of you who strive to represent yourself to the very best of your ability each and every day. Congratulations to all our students that we'll be acknowledging today, but just as importantly, well done to all of our wonderful students who continue to strive to excel at Asquith Boys High School. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grant. Fresh from a successful big band blast tour of Port Macquarie, our first musical interlude today will be performed by Daniel McPherson on piano. Thank you, Daniel, for that exquisite performance. This year, the students of Asquith Boys High School will wel welcome the opportunity to fully engage in the 2022 sports carnivals after an interrupted schedule in, past in the past few years. I now ask Mr. Jones to address this assembly with his take on these carnivals and to announce our 2022 sports champions. Thank you, Will, and good afternoon to all. Well, in the blink of an eye, half the year has passed us by and all three carnivals have been completed. Today, we are here to celebrate the sporting achievements and success in the areas of swimming, cross country and athletics. Before we do so, it's a great opportunity to reflect and report back on some of the recent happenings in sport. Next week, we have our winter grand finals. And as Mr. Grant said before, in an amazing achievement for our school, eight out of our 11 semi-finalists have made it through to the grand final. This includes our first, seconds and thirds football sides, our 15As, 14Bs, 13As and 13B football sides, and our 14s Maroon rugby side. After a few cancelled or heavily disrupted season, it's been great to see the high participation rates we have in grade sport. Weekly competitive sport is a very important part of the landscape here at Asquith Boys, 
and hopefully we can uh, bring home a few, a few trophies next Wednesday. Uh, looking slightly ahead, our summer trials will kick off in week three of this term. Sport choices for students uh, will close early next week, so please make sure that you've logged in and chosen your preferences. I know many of you have already chosen a grade sport, but I implore all students to sign up and give it a go, no matter what your level of ability. We have two brand new sports in frisbee and squash, which is also quite exciting. And I think it's fair to say that sport is a great place where memories and friendships are made for life and it's so important to get involved. On Wednesday, there was no better reminder of this. I had the pleasure of being out at Strathfield Park where we had four football teams contesting their semi-final. As the afternoon wore on, three of our four teams had won their game and it was in the dying moments of our fourth placed 13A side against the raging favourites Ashfield. Every Asquith boy in sight ran up to catch the last few minutes. The pressure was on, the atmosphere was tense, and our boys were hanging on for victory. It was 2-1 with a few minutes to go. The scenes when the final whistle blew were absolutely amazing. Everyone erupted, the whole team, every single person on the sideline, including many of our senior students, and they all stormed the field in a giant huddle in the middle of the pitch, chanting for Asquith. It was a fantastic moment for all involved, and the boys even had a nice sing-along on the bus on the way home. So it was a fantastic thing to be part of. We now turn our attention to our carnivals, and we'll start with the 2022 Swimming Carnival. After managing to successfully side sidestep the perils of the dreaded COVID at the end of 2020 and 2021, we finally caught up and had the 22 Carnival, which was competitors only. The first time in 62 years that Asquith Boys has not run a full swimming carnival, and hopefully the last time that this occurs. Nevertheless, the boys who competed on the day brought their usual spirit with them to the pool, which saw many outstanding swims for our students. The battle for age champions, as always, was fierce, but when all was run and swum, we had clear six winners. I'll now ask our sport captains, Jake Sheeran and Josh Hegarty, to present the following students with their age champion awards. Could I please get everyone to hold their applause till the end? In the 12 years was Jackson Speeter. He's not with us today. In the 13 years, Keo Yamada. If you could come up to the stage, Keo. In the 14 years, James Burt. In the 15 years, Damien Speeter. In the 16 years, Jensen Goodchild. And in the 17 plus opens years, Josh Droder. Can we please put our hands together for our 2022 age champions? Now, he's going to be back on stage in a minute, but Jensen Goodchild also broke two records on the day. Uh, in the 50-metre breast, breaststroke, in, he actually swam a time of 35.49, breaking a record set in 1998 of 35.68. And in the 100 metres freestyle, he swam a 56.18, breaking the old record from 2007 of 57.29. Now, following the school carnival, a select group of boys went to the Zone Swimming Carnival that was held at the Sydney Olympic Park Aquatic Centre on Friday the 11th of March. In a zone comprising many schools with massive student numbers, we gained a very credible third place, beating many schools with over 1,000 students each. We had some top results from the Zone Swimming Carnival, with all the boys giving their best on the day. We've had a number of students who then qualified for the Sydney North Swimming Championships. I would now like to call the students who participated at the Sydney North level up to the stage to, to collect their certificates. Jack Mooney. Tom Callahan, Tyler Truscott-Jones. Josh Droder. Now, one boy has since left Asquith Boys High School, but he does deserve a mention, and that was Oliver Tucker. And then lastly, Jensen Goodchild. Start on 
And I'm going to keep Jensen on stage just to embarrass him a little bit. So Jensen not only participated at the Sydney North Carnival, but when all was said and done, he finished the carnival as the 16 years age champion. And this obviously deserves great congratulations, but it doesn't stop there. Uh, just to give you an idea of how significant that is, there are over 60 secondary schools and 53,000 students that compete in the Sydney North sporting area. He then took it a little bit further, and in, in addition to his age champion, at the New South Wales CHS uh, Swimming Championships, he gained a bronze medal in the 200 metre freestyle. He's going to be collecting his Sydney North age champion medal today, and I think he deserves a big round of applause. Congratulations to all our swimmers who performed so well this year. We now move on to the cross country. And our school cross country carnival was held on Friday the 6th of May in and around the school grounds. With the sun shining, it was fantastic to see the high rates of participation and some hotly contested races. From the day, we had obviously our age champions and I'll ask them to come up to the stage if we could please hold our applause till the end. In the 12 years, and we're gonna hear this uh, young man's name a lot, and that's Alexander Braindle. Uh, he's actually racing today in the CHS uh, Cross Country Carnival. He was the 12 years age champion. In the 13 years, Braden Searles. In the 14 years, Ellis Tuddy. Our 15 years age champion is no longer with us, but that was Elias Chapman. 16 years, Jack Mooney. In the 17 years, we had Luca Jordan, who's not with us today. And in the 18 years, Ethan Oliver. If we could please put our hands together for all our age champions. Now, following the school carnival, our North West Metropolitan Zone Cross Country Carnival was held at Meadowbank Park. Despite a few late withdrawals, Asquith Boys took a small but high quality team. At the conclusion of the day, 15 students had managed to progress to the Sydney North Carnival, which was held at Gosford Racecourse. And as Mr. Grant also mentioned before, in a fantastic day, we came second at the Zone Carnival. I would like to call the 15 students who participated at Sydney North Level up to the stage, and I'll be mentioning their results, if we could please hold the applause to the end. In the 12 years, and this young man is also racing today at CHS, Kobe Jenkins finished second at Zone and fifth at Sydney North. Another one, Alex Braindle, racing today at CHS, finished fifth at Zone and fourth at Sydney North. Hunter Ryan, if he could come to the stage, finished sixth at zone and 15th at Sydney North. In the 13 years, Braden Searles finished seventh at zone and 18th at Sydney North. And his brother Matthew Searles finished eighth at zone and 23rd at Sydney North. Got the bragging rights. In the 14 years, Ellis Tuddy finished second at zone and 19th at Sydney North. Our age champion who is no longer with us, Elias Chapman, finished fourth at zone and 47th at Sydney North. Mitchell Smith finished fifth at zone and 35th at Sydney North. Once again, remembering how many competitors we are up against in Sydney North. Ethan Legg finished eighth at zone and 21st at Sydney North. Julian Cottrell finished ninth at zone and 25th at Sydney North. Into the 16 years, Cade Rowley finished seventh at zone and 34th at Sydney North. He's not with us today. Jack Mooney, eighth at zone, unfortunately was injured for the Sydney North. I'm sure he'll tell you he would have won it. And in the 18 years, Rory McFarlane, who's racing at CHS today, finished at third at zone and 10th at Sydney North. Ethan Oliver, fourth at zone and 13th at Sydney North. And Kyle Cruishank finished eighth at zone and 20 at Sydney North. If we could please put our hands together for all of these amazing performances.
And as I was uh, mentioning during that, um, following Sydney North, Rory McFarlane, Kobe Jenkins and Alexander Brandle are all currently running at the CHS uh, Cross Country out at Eastern Creek and hopefully we hear some great news from them. But well done to all our boys who participated so well in 2022 in Cross Country. We now move to athletics and our athletics carnival was held at Foxglove Oval earlier uh, last term on the 5th of May. The weather could not have been any better for the boys to show off their athletic ability in track and field events. The day ran smoothly thanks to the amazing efforts of all the Asquith boys staff and the Year 11 SLR students, and I'd like to thank them for all their hard work on the day. The Year 12 students, along with Mr Melrose, also did a great job of keeping our athletes fueled up for their events, and the teachers of course, by hosting the traditional students' barbecue. Our attention now turns to the boys who will be crowned individual age champions for 2022. In all age groups, the competition was very close, which highlights the great athletic talent and ability we have here at Asquith Boys. Okay, the uh, age champions for 2022, and if we could hold our applause to the end, a few of our boys aren't with us. 12 years, Alexander Braindle. In the 13 years, Hayden Boyle is not here with us today. In the 14 years, Eric Hamilton. Our 15 years age champion, Mitchell Smith. Our 16 years age champion was Ethan Warren. And our 17 plus age champion, Ethan Oliver. A few guys getting some reps in up on the stage today. Can we put our hands together for our age champions? Now, following this, a team of over 40 students travelled to the Sydney International Athletic Centre out at Olympic Park on the 23rd of June to represent Asquith Boys High School at the Zone Athletics Carnival. All the boys were fantastic participants on the day, and overall, Asquith Boys finished second at the carnival, which is an outstanding achievement, considering we are one of the smallest schools within the zone. There were quite a few standout performances at the carnival, and I'll acknowledge them now. In the 12 years, we'll call up Marley Jenkins, who came second in high jump. Quite a few talented athletes in the 12 years. Kobe Jenkins, who is out at CHS Cross Country, came first in the 800 metres and high jump. Hunter Ryan was part of our uh, 4 by 100 metre relay team that came second on the day. Alexander Braindall third in the 200 metres, second in the 800 metres, second in discus, and first in the 1500 metre walk. And he actually became runner-up in the 12 years age champion for our zone. And he was only beaten by the following student, Sire Anasio, second in the 100 metres, first in the 200 metres, first in the 80 metres hurdles, first in long jump, first in discus, I'm gonna run out of breath, and first in shot put, and our zone age champion for the 12 years. I think he deserves a round of applause for that. In the 16 years, we had Cade Rowley, who's not with us today, but came first in the 400 metres and second in the 800 metres. Hamish Seggy in the 16 years, first in the 100 metres and second in the 200. Followed by Jesse Robinson, first in the 200 metres, second in the 100 metres and second in long jump. And in our Opens age group, 17 plus, Ethan Oliver, third in long jump, second in discus, second in javelin and first in the 400, making him the zone age champion for the zone as well. If we could please put our hands together for all of that. Thank you. And whilst athletics is definitely an individual event, the following three mentions are very worthy and we all got behind our relay teams on the day. Um, I'll start with our 12 years. I won't call them on stage, but our 12 years came second on the day, and that team was Marley Jenkins, Hunter Ryan, Alex Brandle, and Sire Anasio, and they'll be going through to Sydney North. But I will call, call up to the stage our 14s and 16 years relay teams to receive a certificate for coming first 
in their relay. So we'll start with the 14 years relay team, and that was Eric Hamilton, Logan Booth, Max Hughes, and Boston Cameron. And then our 16 years, four by 100 meter relay team of Hamish Seggy, Jesse Robinson, Cade Rowley, and Ethan Warne. I got them at the right time, coming straight up again. If we could please put our hands together for our relay teams, well done. So all of those boys who have come up on stage will be representing the Northwest Metropolitan Zone at the Sydney North Regional Athletics Carnival, which is actually next week, and we wish them all the best. That concludes my presentations for this afternoon. Well done to all the boys who are on stage today, and I look forward to more success in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jones, and congratulations to those students. Our second musical performance will be an eclectic mix of talented Asquith Boys High musicians to the tune of Shotgun. This will be followed by some presentations from the Big Band Blast Tour. Please enjoy. To see you later, gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Sunny change in the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I can get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. Is the mountain top that I'm dreaming of? If you need me, you'll know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. We're south of the equator, navigator, gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. Deep sea dive around the clock, bikini bottom, nugget toss. I can get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. It's the mountain top that I'm dreaming of. If you need me, you'll know where I'll be. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. We go two in the front, two in the back. Singing along and we don't look back Time flies by in the yellow and green Stick around and you'll see what I mean It's the mountain top that I'm dreaming of If you need me you'll know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot 
Start feeling like a someone I'll be right short Burn underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone, 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 someone. Thank you for that fabulous performance. Students of Ascot Boys High School have taken part in the Port Macquarie Big Band Blast Tour on many occasions over the last few years. I now ask Daniel McPherson to address this assembly with his take on the highlights of Big Band Blast 2022. Hello staff, students and parents. I'm Daniel McPherson and I've been an active member of band since year seven. I'll be talking about Big Band Blast, which we had last term. Now I've been told I must keep it to the highlights, but I will, so I will not mention the absolute pain, which was the leaving time of 6.30 in the morning. Other than that, the trip up there was amazing. As always, we stopped at a primary school on the way to perform. This was one of the schools that was affected by the fires that ripped through northern New South Wales in 2019. So it was an amazing opportunity that we got to play there. While we were there, many of us realised how out of practice we've gotten in handball since primary school. Um, I realised quite quickly I'll not have to go easy on these six-year-olds as they absolutely destroyed me in handball. After we left the school, we quickly arrived at the retreat that we were staying at and headed off to the Big Band Blast concert. The concert was once again held at the Panthers Club in Port Macquarie. The first act was the Jazz Music Institute and it was amazing. They mainly focused on big band music before 1945, like Count Basie and Duke Ellington. Um, and then the Sydney Conservatorium band came up. And if we took the photos from all the students' phones rather than the t what the photos the teachers took, there would be about an equal amount of photos of the drummer as the rest of the camp combined. Um, yes. At Big Band Blast, we also had the opportunity to perform at the venue at Panthers, and overall we did very well, especially considering how disrupted the last few years have been. Also included in Big Band Blast was a bunch of different masterclasses and lessons for the students to take. Uh, these, as every year, are always inspiring and extremely helpful lessons of improvisation and sectional masterclasses. Big Band Blast is one of the biggest highlights of the school calendar for me and many other, of the band, many other band students. We're all very grateful for the school for giving us the opportunity to attend Big Band Blast, allowing us to enjoy our passion of music and together and share it with people outside of our usual circles. Um, just before I finish, I'd like to say a few thank yous to the people involved in Big Band Blast. Mr. Cabrera for organising a lot of it. Um, Miss Hendry, even though you couldn't make it, for also organising a lot of the camp. I'd also like to thank Miss Holder for coming and making sure that everything ran smoothly and Joe Manton, our band director, for organising all the music and making sure everyone played well. Uh, thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, Daniel. I will now call upon Mr Grant to present the 2022 Scholarship Awards to the following students. Patrick Kilkelly, Stage 5 Instrumental Band. Um, the next boy is not in attendance, but Robbie Morgan for Junior Instrumental Band. And Daniel McPherson for Stage 6 Instrumental Band. Round of applause for those students. Thank you and congratulations to the Asquith Boys and Asquith Girls bands on your very successful tour. In recognition of these efforts, I would now like to pre present the following students um, with precip precipitation certificates. 
James Burt. James Cullen. Ryan DeBerg. Thomas Eisner. Patrick Kilkelly. Jesse Loffel. Archie Mayer. Charlie Mayer. Owen Markey. Matthias McLaughlin. Jacob McNaught. Reese McNaught. Daniel McPherson. Robbie Morgan. Edward Neat. Colin Newland. Kai O'Rourke. Connor Phillip. Jack Robson. Joe Sheba. Kai Sheba. Lachlan Taylor. And Noah Whitehouse. Round of applause for those boys too. Congratulations to all our amazing recipients at today's assembly. To conclude, there is a video presentation of highlights from the Big Band Blast Tour 2022. Thank you.
thank you for that wonderful presentation. Um, can we have everyone stand, please, while our official party exits the assembly?